Good morning, boys and girls. I first want to get started by going over the two extra problems that I gave you yesterday. So if you did those, go ahead and use this time now to check your answers. So the first thing we did was a number line between 8 and 9, and we wanted to write the decimal form, the fraction form, and then how many more tens until it reached the next whole number, which would be 9. So I know it's not yet to 9, so it's 8. Point one two three four five six seven eight nine eight point nine, which is also eight nine tenths. If I were to write that in fraction form, I would write eight and nine over ten. And how many more tenths would I need to get to the next whole number? I would just need one tenth. So I could write that as zero point one or one over ten. Then the last one it was a number line between 13 and 14. Um, I know it's not yet to 14, so it would be 13.1234567.8. If I wrote it as a fraction, I would write 13, 8 over 10. And then how many more tenths to get to 14? 1, 2. So you could either write it as 0 0.2 or 2 over 10. All right, I hope you did well on those. Um, today we're going to continue with fractions and decimals and converting them. And we're also going to kind of take a look at um, looking at fractions and decimals when they're used in like measurements and meters. The first thing I'm going to do is we are going to convert as a, like a refresher one tenth into how many hundreds? kind of abbreviated. So one tenth equals how many hundredths? If you remember, it is ten. So then if I were to write it as a fraction, one tenth, but let's say I put meters after it, how many hundredths would that be in meters? It is the same thing as before, so one tenth, even if I put meters behind it, um, so one tenth is the same as how many hundreds? Ten hundreds. So it works the same with meters as well. Today, if we were to be in school, um, you would have been given a problem that would have said, draw or shade in in a tape diagram eight tenths of a meter. So what you're going to do is you're going to draw a rectangle and break it up into 10 equal pieces. Well, as equal as you can. One, two, three. Mine didn't, isn't it um, very equal at the end, but it's okay. Um, so we're going to color in eight tenths of a meter. This whole thing is one whole meter. So that means I'm going to color in eight of these. And then how would I write eight tenths of a meter in decimal form? You would write it as zero point one, or not one eight, just zero point eight. And then with the meter sign after it. So Eight tenths equals zero point eight meters. All right. So that was pretty simple. We've kind of done that in the past, but what if it's over one hundred instead of tenths? So let me show you how you would do that. So first, draw your tape diagram with ten equal pieces. All right, here is my duplicate diagram. Sorry, it's a little sloppy. So I have 10 equal pieces. Um, oh, and this is supposed to be meters. So I know that each of these is 1 tenth. But what is 1 hundredth? So 1 hundredth, if I were to break each of these tenths into tenths, I would have 100 squares. 
So that's what you're going to do. You don't have to break all of them up, but we're going to break that first square up into 10 little pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's kind of hard when it's um, on my whiteboard. So now that I have ten equal pieces, I'm going to color in seven of those little pieces. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven out of what would have been a hundred is seven one hundredths. And then how would I write that as a decimal? You would write it as zero point zero seven. And then your meter sign. All right. We're going to do one more like that. And then I'm going to give you two bonus problems. So the next one, go ahead and draw a tape diagram again with 10 equal parts. Perfect. All right, so I have 10 equal parts here, and we're going to do 19 one hundredths. So as I said before, these each of these is one tenth. Well, I don't have just either two tenths or twenty twenty one hundredths. That would be the same as two tenths. So I'm gonna have to kind of break some of these up. I know that I see that there is a digit in the one um, the tens place, which is the one. So I know that there's one tenth colored. But now there would be nine out of the next one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split up the next one into tenths. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So I split this um, into ten pieces. And what you're going to do is color in nine of them. So, if this, we could have taken our time and split this first box into 10 and then colored 9 of the next one, but that would have taken quite a bit. So, you have one hole um, colored in of one of the tenths and 9 of the second one. That's the same as 19 one hundredths. If I were to write that in decimal form, I would write it as 0 0.19 meters. All right, for the two bonus problems, I want you to convert two fractions into decimals. The two fractions I want you to convert are 77 one hundredths and 28 one hundredths. All right, I look forward to working with you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.